Good morning, everyone. Up on Josie's homesteading. Burning out some more stumps. This big boy here, I don't know if y'all kind of hard to tell, but that is probably real close to five foot across this way. And this was a chestnut oak. And this way, probably about, that's a good three foot, maybe four foot. You know, some of, some of this was just where I dug out. But it's, a, it's been a, a, a good one. I have burnt a ton of wood on this thing. I spent probably about nine days actually burning on this thing. I didn't burn on it yesterday. I let it cool down actually so I could dig out and try to get, if you can see it, try to get where I could dig out some of that dirt and stuff in here. Uh, but it has kind of split up now. There's a, a, a big groove here. There's a couple grooves in there. We're about to get this one going. But, uh, but yeah, I'm running out of wood. So <laughs> for wood that I want to burn, I mean, I got all kinds of wood, but I'm burning, out, running out of wood that I want to burn for, for stumps. I still got a, a lot of maple and stuff in the barn that I could burn, but it don't, uh, it's so dry and so dead and so gone that it, it don't, it's, it's just good for starting it. It don't, uh, it don't make me any good hot red ashes and things. Where are you going though, Kitty? We'll come over here and get warm. The cat's been doing that a lot, which is it's kind of cool right now. It's probably, I don't know, it's probably up close to 40 now. It was about 32 when we first come out this morning. Josie's over in the barn. She's been in and out playing and stuff. She's, she's mainly been staying in the barn. She got a drum set for Christmas too, and she's, I put it together and put it in the barn, so she's been playing with that new toy. I also got this little stump. I burned on it a couple of days. Uh, but then Saturday and Sunday, I didn't burn on it any at all. I just now got it started. That's a lot of that maple and stuff I was talking about. Just getting it going. But, uh, but it, it should burn out pretty quick. It's going to probably take most of the day just to dry it up today. And, and there's a pine that I burned out last week. And uh, got it covered up with some straw and rabbit poop. Rabbit manure. I'm glad to say poop on here now. That one. That's what me and Josie been up to. Find some stumps. Still in the household lot. This one I still got covered up. I just this one and, and those two that was there. I've not covered up with straw and stuff yet. Just, I got all winter. I'll have plenty. It's just now the first part of January. Oh. It's snow. I'm painting the snow. We got a couple little limbs laid down from the wind yesterday. We got a lot of rain, high winds. I know it wasn't as bad as a lot of people. I've seen on Facebook and some of the news things that uh, got pretty bad in a few places. But this stunt was city. It burnt out. They still just a little chunk over here, which is below the surface, so I ain't too bad worried about it. But then right here, he's a big chunk that's right at the surface so probably not today i'm gonna let josie play in the snow a little bit we probably won't do a whole lot today i'm sure she's gonna get her hands cold here in a minute and be whining but, uh, tomorrow i think tomorrow let's see what's tomorrow tomorrow's thursday friday tomorrow friday saturday and sunday is not supposed to be too bad awful bad i think it's monday's when it's oh, this one i said the other day it was it was muddy and wet and everything from the rains before. And I think about all it done was dried it out a little bit. It may burn some of it, but it didn't burn a lot of it. It's still way above the surface. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. It ain't gonna be long. Your hands are gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to make a snowball. I wish she'd wear gloves. If she had gloves on, she wouldn't be able to do anything with them. I make a snowball. Yeah, you gonna throw it? Oh my goodness. We still gotta go feed the girl pigs. <laughs> Somebody's liking the snow this year. <laughs> She's not got cold yet. <laughs> I think it's just a matter of time. 
And was they handling it all right, it seemed like. Y'all can see I brought Andy up here the other day. I noticed, uh, oh, it's been three, about three days now, I think. Uh, the same day I was burning the stumps. But uh, I noticed he was chasing Belle all like crazy, just butting her, head butting her, and chasing her all over the lot up there. And so I loaded him up and brought him up here, put him back in with the goats. And when I went back up, Gary Bella was breeding. So it should, if everything works out right, that should put the days, 114 days was May the 1st on that. So hopefully we'll have some early summer baby cooney coonies or my registered coonies. Still, I'm just, I'm scared to breed with these two. I, I know Bella's got the look, but man, it just scares me. They're not Bella, but Shelly. I don't know. I'm just I'm scared to breed with them. I don't want no more of those little ones that I got. Hard to get rid of them. I don't. I wouldn't want to sell them to somebody. And tell them they're something they're really not. I, yeah. I think maybe tomorrow once this snow melts off a little bit, if it ain't raining. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, it's snowing. Got your hands in the snow. Oh. Uh, I may try to get a bunch of just loose hay up, take up there and put in the yeah. little shed where Bella and Gary and the two little pigs and the goat, that little goat's at. Yeah. I know she used to be, it got really muddy inside there from all that rain. But they are dry in here. You got them a big old nest built over there. So these girls, I mean, this log cabin's got a lot of air holes. But, oh, goodness, you all right? You fall down, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to walk in them big clothes and big boots. Oh. And, uh, wow. Yeah, I'd say they're staying toasty inside there. Hey. Yeah, hey. Oh, they're there. Earlier this morning, all that snow was stuck to the trees. Yeah, it was really, really pretty out here, but it's done melted off. Okay. <laughs> Why is it? Hey. Yeah. I've only been doing one video a week. That's probably what I'm going to do this week. I thought about trying to get one out tomorrow, but I think I'll just put all this and put it out Saturday. And I'll see if I can't uh, video whenever I move. Move this hay. I got the, the battery that went dead on the GMC truck. I ch charged it up yesterday. And I'm going to bring it up here and load some of this up back here. Put it in the shed up there. Ice. Yeah, ice and snow. I have to get them another hay roll in here. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Yeah, hay rolls. Oh, oh gosh. Fall, fall down again. Oh, let me help you. Oh gosh. Uh, uh. Yeah, get in your hands. Yeah, it's starting to get, don't feel so good. Yeah. Go back up to the barn. Everybody's water seemed fine this morning. Even the rabbit bottles wouldn't froze up. Okay, it's above freezing. We haven't built that yet. Okay, next week I'll have to switch from the bottles back to the bowls. Yeah, hay rolls. Yeah, we'll, have to go, we'll have to go get some more for long. Yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today. We will probably come back out this evening and feed. Look for the wind. Being so wet and nasty out here, it wasn't too bad. Oh, my rock right up there. That rock's off over there, man. The way it hooks in there, a little pull goes right underneath this rail. So if they try to push on it, it actually locks it in. It works pretty good. There's a little bit of snow on the tree still. Wait a minute, I just want to be here. I'm not going nowhere. I'll show you the view up here. Got very nice views when the leaves are off the trees. Right down there is that other road. It's not our road. But there's another little county road down there. But you always hear traffic up. And then right in between there, this is our neighbor's place. Where I'm standing at, it's not. 
over there, my neighbor's place. During the night time, you can see the lights of Somerset over there. And, uh, it comes into, you can sit up here and watch the fireworks during the 4th of July. Supposed to be a nice day today. It's already pretty warm. I burned out this stump just a little bit more. There's still, I mean, it's probably underneath the ground, but they still have a pretty big chunk right in that area. I'm gonna try to get it out, and then there's another little spot right there I'm gonna try to get. Just burnt down just a little bit more. Probably burnt today, and that'll probably be it. And then I'll cover that thing up. Like I said, it's been like all together, probably about 12 days of burning, like all day long having a fire on it. But, uh, me and Josie went up there this morning and Got some of that hay out of the lot where the two girl pigs was at. Uh, here's what well, I loaded up. Like I said, I'm just gonna throw it over. Like I said, that's it's just got a little that's the first time it's ever really done that. It's got really muddy in there, and I'm gonna guess it's probably because of these two little guys here. But uh probably wouldn't hurt if I closed off some of this front. Uh, I don't know, I may try to try to do something with that. I don't know. It's it's probably the worst shelter I got for being that open and stuff but i'm gonna throw i'm just gonna throw this because it is kind of wet i'm just gonna throw it over here on the ground and let them root around in it it's, the wind's blowing today and the sun's shining it's supposed to get up around in the in the 50s somewhere mid 50s i'm just gonna throw that out over there and let it sit there until later this evening before i throw it in there and let it try to dry out some and then sunday uh sunday night's when it's supposed to drop down start getting really really cold i'll uh i got some square bales down there in the goat shed and I'll bring one of them up here, maybe two or something, and put it in there. Get them up. It's just, like I said, there's a couple of days there where it's going to get really, really cold down in the single digits. I want them to have plenty to keep warm and dry and stuff on. But we'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. Oh, we've covered up that big stump there. It looks like there's a mound there. Like I didn't really get the stump down. Get the stump. Probably about five or six inches underneath the dirt. It just man, it looks like a mound. Cause if you notice some of these trees, look at this. It's mounded up around the whole tree. It's kind of hard. I mean, unless I want to dig that whole big old area out, which is probably 15 by 15 or something. That's not good so I can get over, over it with a brush hog or lawnmower or whatever. Get some grass growing. Them stumps, it will dry out in the summertime. They get super dried, die out. It'll eventually rot out. And it'll keep sinking. I'll have to throw dirt in it and stuff like that. Like I said, I've done this up another lot. I was just gonna show you how to start real quick. Go over here and show you what we done in the, with the hay and the little shed over there. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. Thought she was saying hey to the video. She's saying hey, feed. <laughs> but I got all this in here Ooh. yesterday. I, I videoed it and I must not hit record or something because I. I didn't have it when I went to edit out this thing today, but uh, we got in here. I've, I've seen them laying in it, so I guess it's all right with them. Still a little wet, but uh, today's Friday. Tomorrow, I think the high's only supposed to be 37, and that's the last day. Sunday's the high's in the 20s, and then after that, it's cold for several days, getting one to three inches of snow for Monday, and then snow showers on Tuesday, I think, or something like that. So it's around here. It's can be a mess in this area. It's a, can't tell, wind is roaring today. I don't know if you guys can even hear me or not. It's, trees are whipping around. Electric's been in and out all day long. Me and Josie, we went and loaded up on feed today. So we won't have to get out for a little bit. Hey! Hey! And feed animals. Yeah, feed the animals. Yep, gotta feed the animals in the cold, the rain, the mud, wind. Yeah, feed animals. But I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. I got that in there, and I'm gonna throw. Uh, I got a. I got some square bales down there. I'm gonna throw a bale or two of that in there tomorrow evening. Uh, and get it on top of that, and that'll definitely get them up in the dry. And like I said, and I still. I'm gonna try to maybe tomorrow to do something with that. I've not been out with Josie today just because it's been raining all day long. We just need to quit. Uh, and we only got about an hour before dark, so I may try to put something on that and just kind of block that off a little bit. It all depends on what way the wind's blowing, whether or not it gets 
windy and then rain. I kind of think that's what happened the other day. The wind was blowing all the rain right inside there. I still may hook something up in there. Might do that tomorrow's project or something. But we're going to get off here. Appreciate you watching. It's kind of a little longer video than normal. It's just a all week long, a bunch of little stuff we've done. I'm going to go feed the rest of these animals. Catch you guys on the next one.